Hey there, friends. Glad you are joining me today in our yin yoga practice. Today, we will be using specific energy pathways using yin yoga poses to release and renew our chi, or you may call it prana. It's our vitality, our life force in this 60 minute yin yoga full body sequence. You will focus largely on the gallbladder meridian and of course surrounding meridians. If this is your first time here, welcome. I'm Rebecca and this is Body Illumination. So glad to see you join our community. So if you are ready to open up loads of beautiful energy, let's meet on the mat. I'm using two blocks and a strap. You may modify without or with other props. Beginners in our yin practice today, we may hold some postures up to four minutes, maybe a little bit longer. Please modify as needed. I will provide verbal suggestions. Always listen to your body's beautiful intuitive intelligence. Okay, come to a seat. Pause here and look for that quiet. Just soften here. Be present with your breath. Inhale and contemplate your intention. Think about what moves you and what you want to cultivate in your life. Ease, joy, happiness, inspiration, clarity. Inhale, sip the breath through your nose and exhale, let go completely. Let's find our way into our first pose. Ground your hands and knees. Reach your hips back towards the heels. Allow your heart to shine upward as you lift the heart and the tail. Curve the spine into a cat and then sink your hips all the way back. Exaggerate the heart reaching forward, back bending, and then again sit back and round. Heart leads you forward, spread the collarbones and reach the sits bones upwards. Exaggerating the C shape in the spine, reach the hips back. Inhale, open the throat and the front side of the body. Your exhale guides you back. Now sitting all the way back into a child, reach your left hand forward and thread your right under the left and stretch the shoulder blades lightly down your back. Play with keeping the toes tucked under and the hips lifted so you can feel all that intensity in the upper body. Or you can play with untucking the toes and taking the hips further back to shift the intensity into the lower body.
Friends, when you hear that sound, it means that we have reached the conclusion of the posture. So that's your, your little cue. Okay, friends, when you're ready, come on up from this, push both hands down into the earth, reach the right arm up into the sky, then press down back onto all fours and lunge your left leg forward. So stay here for a moment in your dragon. See how your hips are feeling, maybe lower yourself down onto a prop or stay on your hands with your arms extended. Revolve toward the left leg, adding slight pressure to the inner thigh with your left hand. I invite you to play with props or come on your forearms. Inhale and lift your heart. Spread through the collarbones, open the heart and the chest, connecting to your pulse and vibratory energy. Feel the shine from inside, emerge and influence all the energy surrounding you. Now friends, we are making a subtle shift, a spiral further to the left. Turn the toes of the left foot towards the long side of your mat, lowering the right hip as you guide the left hip to the left, coming onto the outside of the right leg. The left arm can come around into a half bind 
which I am showing in the variation in the corner. Or you can go ahead and hold on to the outside of the leg. You can drop the right forearm here on a prop or into the earth. Ground yourself, breathe into the right side body, drink up the breath, give up any expectations. If you are looking for more intensity, you can even take a prop underneath that right hip. So you'll get a deeper opening through the right side body. If you want to explore a deeper opening through the right side bend, take the left ear towards the shoulder. Reach your fingers over your head to the right ear. Gently open the side bend a bit more. Now if this is too intense, simply explore a gentle side bend in the neck or keep your head upward. Tap into what feels right for you. Okay, let's take another inhale, exhale, and gently release this. Slowly lift your head, lowering the right hip, and cross the left leg over the right, stacking the left knee on to the right for shoelace. Now side bend towards the right, away from your top leg, to encourage a deeper opening in that left hip. We're opening up the gallbladder channel on both legs now. If you ever feel any irritability, frustration, any depression, or maybe just impatience, maybe a sense of feeling stuck, this is a beautiful pose to practice.
Okay, lift up slowly and let's uncross the legs and bring the soles of your feet towards each other. Maybe sit on a blanket to encourage the forward tilt of the pelvis as well. Or join me, I'm going to place a block or two in front. Now reach your elbows forward onto the block. Place the palms together and the fingertips reach up into the sky. Inhale and lengthen through the side body into the arms, releasing the upper body towards the earth, melting and opening the heart.
Okay, friends, we are going to press up and come onto all fours facing the left short end of the mat. Take your time here. We are circling around the half mandala today. We'll round through the spine and reach your hips towards your heels. Then move into a cat, opening your heart up, moving into a cow. This is a nice time to improv here. Do two more of these maybe, and then take rest and child. Maybe wag your tail from side to side. And then contrast this movement with the stillness in our yin poses. Okay, friends, take your time. Whenever you are ready, join me, reaching the hips back, reach the right arm forward and dive your heart down and then fly the left arm under the right one. Transfer your hips over the knees to increase the upper body stretch or sink deeper into the hips to decrease the upper body stretch and add more sensation in the hips. Now turn inward and tune into both your mind and the physical sensations of your body. Just watching, heightening that observer or third person without any judgments. Just watch and soften here. Let's gently come up, release and reach the left arm into the sky. Place the arm down and guide the right leg through into a lunge. Start a turn to the front leg, opening your dragon. Add gentle pressure on the right inner thigh. 
Inhale and think about lifting the heart up and maybe opening the throat, noticing your energy, noticing your heartbeat, your breath. Just be here now. Okay, friends, when you are ready, let's turn a little further into the right, pointing the toes to the right, to the long side of your mat. Moving the weight to the outside of the extended left leg, adding a lift in the side body or rest on a prop. Just relax and explore.
Okay, I again invite you to side bend, bringing the right ear towards the right shoulder, deepening the stretch with the right hand, reach over your head and adding a little bit more potency to the stretch if you want to. Notice any spaciousness or restriction here. Be mindful. Moving into a place that feels like a delicious edge. Close your eyes and just breathe here, visualizing the entire left side of the body, letting go and letting in new expanse. Okay, moving on, lift your head and slide the left leg under the right for shoelace. Let's side bend to the left this time. Take your left elbow onto a prop or to the earth. You can take the top arm behind your head or wrap it behind your waist into a half bind. Notice the quality of your breath. Soften in the shape, allowing the deep connective tissue to shift. Take a big breath into this new transformation, releasing the old and letting in the new.
Let's uncross the legs and move onto all fours. Then transfer the weight onto the knees. Tuck the toes under for toes pose with wrist decompression. Transfer the weight into the feet across the metatarsal head and keep the weight across the webbing between the big toe and the second toe, accessing the four gateways into the body. Placing the heel of your hand onto the blocks, playing with the wrist decompression or, or maybe not today. Be mindful of any sharp edges, then you should back off or lie on your back in a rebound pose. Take your time to rinse out the wrists, rotating them around. Okay, friends, now sit back and bring the soles of your feet together for a reclining butterfly. Grab your prop and place the blocks between the shoulder blades. Lie back with the block between the shoulder blades Reach your head back and open your throat or use another prop here, a block or a pillow or maybe some blankets. As you open up the heart, open up the throat and of course that delicious external rotation in the legs. Maybe take the arms overhead, incorporate a relaxing heart opener here if you choose. Just send your attention in the breath wherever you need it.
Take one or two more breaths here. Let's gently navigate off these blocks so you can come on up and remove the blocks or roll to one side and push the blocks away. And then let's move on to our backs for your final pose, Shavasana. Just soften, letting yourself go letting go of any emotions that might be surfacing, letting go of your to-do. Just release and bathe in this tranquility.
I invite you to stay on your back if you'd like to stay here a little bit longer. Please do. Otherwise, be aware of your breath. Maybe start to deepen it. Wiggle your fingers, your toes. Maybe stretch open your jaw. And when you're ready, roll over to one side and come on up to a seated posture. Okay, as we close our practice, Think about your intention, whatever it was. It might have shifted during your practice, and that's wonderful. Just be aware of it. Maybe it's something you can take with you off the mat. Okay, now pause here. We're going to do a quick round of pranayama. So we did a lot of powerful yin poses, and now we're just going to clear out those nadis. And if you prefer, you can just breathe normally, or you could practice ujjayi breath whatever you're feeling. Otherwise, I'm going to do Breath of Fire. Breath of Fire is a nice rhythmic breath. So we have equal emphasis on the inhalation and the exhalation, but it's no deeper than a little sniff. Pump the navel point towards the spine on the exhale, releasing the navel out on the inhale. It's practiced through the nose, the mouth is closed, and you can close your eyes as well. Start with your exhalation and then begin inhaling and exhaling, small inhalations and exhalations. Now slow it down, inhale, sip the breath in and retain it for a moment. Exhale, empty out and stay empty. And release. Okay, my beautiful, beautiful friends, bring your hands to your heart center, tune into the magic inside of you, Om Shanti. Shanti, Shanti, Namaste. Namaste, friends. Thank you so much for sharing your beautiful light with me today. I hope you have a glorious day. If you like this practice, please consider subscribing to Body Illumination. Also consider commenting. I love to hear from you and find out how the practice is affecting you and maybe helping you. Follow me on bodyillumination.com, subscribe there, and also on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. It would be wonderful to see you in that community as well. Lots of love to you all. Namaste.